Now, just a quick recap. We're going to pay attention here moving forward today, looking at the info box. What tool we have selected will now appear here with all the main settings in the info box. Above that, we're going to have our toolbars. We have a navigator on the right-hand side of the screen, and then on the left-hand side of the screen, we have our toolbox. And we've gone in, under the window pull-down menu, under palettes, we've set up the coordinates palette and the control box palette. Now that I have those set up, let's move forward and let's look at customizing our work environment within ARCHICAD. Here, I want to go back here under the option pull-down menu and let's start with our work environment. You will see, before I click on work environment, if I highlight profiles, apply a profile, there are standard profiles set up out of the box. Here, I want us to go in to work environment together and access these settings. Now at the top of the screen, starting with work environment profiles, this profile is made up of multiple schemes. So we can control each scheme and define different profiles based on different schemes. I'm going to make my standard profile here for black spectacles and we're all going to have this available to us again in the curriculum that's provided along with the training. We'll start here under the user preference schemes and we'll start with the dialog boxes and palettes. In this window, you will see here that you have the ability to change your auto update delay. Your auto update delay as a default is set to one and a half seconds out of the box. For many of you that have been using ARCHICAD for years, that's not going to be a problem. You've learned how to deal with that. But for those of you that are new users, my suggestion is for you to set that to three seconds and define that so it gives us a little more time and padding for you and avoids a lot of frustration moving forward if you're starting with me from day one here. Then, moving down below, under pet palette movement, I like to set my pet palette to jump to a preferred position. The reason it's called a pet palette is that it can follow your cursor. Now, just as a pet can be, following the cursor can be very helpful that on a large screen, that, you know, if I'm using multiple monitors, I would choose that setting, but here today I'm working with a small real estate and I want this to jump to a very specific position for me on the screen. Uh, again, if it's bothering you, you have the ability to change those settings. If your pet is getting annoying, you want to set that up, jump to preferred position. Then again, there's a number of settings here. I'm going to hit the high points. A lot of this you won't see issues with. Just what I see common problems with, with beginner users out of the gate, coming from a CAD environment, coming from Revit and other BIM tools. These are typical things that we have seen over the years that are common problems for beginners. Here, I'm going to jump down to my selection and element information. The settings that you see here out of the box work very well. You can define when you select elements to be a different color. Should you change your background color, these may need to change as you start to change other settings and customize your work environment within ARCHICAD. Tracker and coordinate input, as you start to draw and it's giving you feedback directly from your mouse and you're looking to input distances, this is the tracker. Again, the standard default settings work very well out of the box. Then we have the ability here under input constraints and guides. I want you to set this up to have a little more flexibility. Instead of jumping to 45 degrees, 90 degrees, and 45 degree increments, we want to jump at 15 degree increments. This will allow me to jump 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, giving me more control. And you'll find that from a design standpoint, it gives you a lot more freedom. Now, depending on your screen resolution, in some cases, a very high resolution monitor Five pixels can be very tedious as you start to rest on a corner. That five pixels can be so tight that you find yourself working with the mouse and trying to get within those five pixel range to get your check mark to appear. If you're having issues with that, you can bump that number up. If your resolution is very low, you may want to take that down to a smaller number. Here, under model rebuild options, one of the things I want to make sure that you do 
is you have it set up. When you have this show progress window and interrupt with error messages, make sure that that is turned off. Again, as a default setting out of the box, using the standard profile that we're using, that is turned off. This can be a problem for users and as it interrupts with certain error messages based on invalid parameters, it's not a problem. It's just an invalid parameter that's been set up and that message can repeat over and over again.